Hey, hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Graphics Tech. My name is Angelo and on today's video I'm going to be talking about a topic that is recurrent in my channel. Like I have seen this request at least a thousand times even though my channel is very small, at least the English version. Oh boy, everybody's always asking me to do this video. And that video is done other than comparing 1080p native against 1080p DLA and 1440p. Many people seem to be thinking, should I upgrade my monitor to 1440p or should I start using 1080p DLA? And how much better is actually compared to both of those? Is 1080p DLA better than 1440p and so on? And I understand where the confusion and where the questions comes from. Okay, but I wasn't sure if I, um, you know, if it was actually a needed video, but I have learned some things doing it. And well, at the end, you have asked it for so much that I had to do it. So here we are. Okay, I have some many images that we are going to be comparing. Okay, like four or five games. And then at the end, I have some uh, videos about so we can get, draw some conclusions. Okay, it's a quite an interesting topic. So on the left side, you're always going to have the 1080p native image. In the center, you're going to have the 1080p DLA image. And on the right hand side, you're going to have the 1440p native image. To understand what I mean with native image, normally I'm going to try to use the default uh, anti-aliasing uh, effect because sometimes the game just come with TAA by default. Sometimes it doesn't have anything. So I am going to be uh, using the default option for what I call native because sometimes if I use a real native without any anti-alias solution, what we're getting is a very untreated pixelated image and that's not the point, okay? Remember, DLA means deep learning uh, anti-aliens, sorry, I was going to say super sampling, deep, le deep learning anti-aliens. And what it means is that in um, different to DLSS, which does deep learning super sampling, which means it goes from a lower resolution to a higher resolution. What we're going to be doing, what DLA does is using the native resolution of the game. That means if you're using 1080p, you will use 1080p the same to go through deep learning super sampling and produce the deep learn uh, anti-alias image. So essentially you are adding some cost to already 1080p. So this one is not going to give you better performance. Okay, this actually is going to decrease the performance, but in exchange is going to give you a more pleasing image or that's what they say. So the point here is to check how much of that is true and if it's worth it and what about 1440p should I, should you stay with a 1080p monitor if you are happy by using the LLA or will 1440p actually give you more details okay so let's just start with that okay so if we go here to this part of the image you can see already this sort of branch you can see 1080p quite pixelated okay and then we go to the 1080p DLA image and you can see it's much more complete more more pleasant you can see here how it seems more rounded than here where it's clear stair steps while on the 1440p image even though there is clear steps too you can see that it's composed of more uh, pixels making the image you know more detail in some areas however I will argue that probably the 1080p DLA image looks better in this case now, if we go to this part of here, to this house, let's just go to this um, uh, windmill, right? So you can see here how pixelated and all the stair steps you can see on the wood that forms the uh, windmill. And that can be seen too in the 1440p image with maybe less stair step, but still are there. While the 1080p DLA image you can see here is quite pleasant and it looks quite good, quite decent, right? Good. However, that doesn't mean that necessarily the 1080p DLA image is the better one because something I have seen with many of these images is like uh, quite, uh, quite a thing that I, I, I've come to realize in many of the images. Let me just go a second to the back to show you something here. So as you can see here, for example, this hill on the back looks quite stair step while here it looks very smooth. I will say it looks even smoother than the 1440p image that looks already better than the 1080p image. Okay. And that can, the same can be said here in this, like uh, the roof of this house that you can see that the DLA image looks much better than the 1080p image, I will argue, and maybe a little bit less more than also or equal to the uh, 1440p image where that's not the case 
for like this, um, you know, the roof itself, you know, the tiles here looks more pixelated, here looks more pleasant. But then we can go to other areas, like more close up areas of the image and the story is a little bit different because here we can see, for example, this symbol here, 1080p images, it's not the very detailed, but there is a symbol there or something. And then the DLA image is a little bit better, but it's not that much better, while the 1440p image is clearly better it's more defined and you can make out more of it if we go to see other details in the in the cloth and the you know what he's wearing you can see more details in this area than you can see in any of the other two so i would say 1080p DLA in this case is like a middle point between the two images right um, but that's for close-up, so it seems that for things that are very close, having more pixel is always going to be better, of course it's going to be, but for like distant objects, you know, it's, it's like DLA ends up cleaning up the image a, a little bit, however, that doesn't mean it's perfect, because one thing I noticed is that if you see here in this um, the part of the windmill that is moving, I don't know how it's called in English, um, you can see that there is a little bit of ghosting, you know, that the LSS produced some ghosting, well, that's happening here, as you can see, this is completely clean, while this has this little bit of trail, of course, when we look at a normal resolution distance, it's a very hard to notice that, but it is there, so it means that it can introduce some artifacts that were not originally there. And also when we, you know, put the image on a distance and we are looking at a normal, you know, distance, uh, res um, you know, the normal um, rendering resolution, then you don't see that much of a difference. You can still do something here and here, and maybe here it, it seems more clear, but it's clear to me that it still looks a little bit better over there. So that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. Let's keep going with the examples. Okay, so another game I'm going to test is Ghost of Tsushima. And the reason for that is because I believe this game has like a softer image to it. It's a, it's a game that, you know, doesn't tend to have a lot of like aliasing and it, it's by nature and the way the game is created. It looks quite stable, quite good. So that will show that DLA will work differently depending on the quality of the image. So as we can see here, if we get close to our character, you can see that DLA is not really offering us much more clarity there is some gain of course there is in some areas especially if we see like his hands we can see 1080p it's a little break up here and we can make more details here but still i think 1440p offers more detail in this area than the dla image however there are some areas where the dla works really good for example here you can clearly see from my point of view that the DLA looks better than 1440p and 1080p in this area here where we have this rope, you know, hanging the lantern. So I think in that area it looks better. But if we go to this more distant object, you can see that from my point of view, 1440p is providing more like detail, even though it's very far, it seems more detailed than the, either the 1080p or the, 14, uh, the, or the DLA version. In fact, the DLA version is a little bit weird in here because you can see this completely here in both but DLA it doesn't make this it's like I don't know what happened to it what happened to this part of the base I have no idea but as you can see here that produces that effect but if we check now this rock here you can see that this monument doesn't you can make all the holes you can make them better here but there is no there, there it's obvious to me that DLA produces this uh, part of the image much better but now if we go like to these details in the house let's get very close so you know what I mean you can see that these details look much better in the 1440p because it's actually having more pixel it can provide like a more sharp image in that sense while the uh, DLA even though it's looking maybe more rounded than the 1080p is not offering the, so much detail so in this case uh, from my point of view I believe that the 1440p image tends to look a little bit better than the DLA image okay so yeah let's go to the next sample and okay so uh the last game I'm going to be showing, okay, is Horizon Forbidden West. And I think this game looks amazing, it's great in terms of image quality. So I wanted to test it, to check it, and see how much of a difference could DLA makes in games that are already, you know, are very well made and work very good. And as you can see, I would say not much in this case, 
at least in terms of image quality and you can see clearly here for example that Aloy's um, headband in the or this ornament in the, in the head looks much better at the 1440p quality 1080p tends to look pixelated and yeah DLA looks a little bit better but there is it's clear that the 1440p looks so much better in terms of definition you can see that the, the lines and the details are clear there Oh, somebody subscribed apparently. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, so, and then when we look like at this area, I was looking before on my, let me just look for it again. It's a very con con contrasty area here. Sorry. When we look here, it's funny because it seems a very contrasted area that if this thing, for example, seems to produce better image. Look at this here branch and look at the branch here. It looks uh, even better at 1080p than DLA, which is a first for me, but there is not much difference in here. You can see that these two looks quite similar. Uh, we can see that there is really not much of a difference. So the, the native or what they call native in this game tends to look quite a bit better I will say than the actual DLA version or equal to so there is not much gain from it if you uh, tell me and comparing the 1440p look if we go back here you can clearly see that the DLA image looks better than the 1080p in the case of the grass on the background, right? But when we look at the 1440p, well, you can see there is a lot more detail in the texture that has on like, it's, it's more detail, more rich. You can see um, more details in here than DLA. So, so far, what I am constructing here is that there are certain advantages of DLA over 1440p but 1440p at the end will produce a more crisp rich image but the LA seems to be always sort of superior to the native 1080p in every conceivable way so it's like a middle point between the two and there are things where DLA actually work better than 1440p as we have seen however before you start writing to me angry or uh, you know making your own comments and observation let's look at this last part of the video Okay, now we have arrived to the last part of this video. Um, before I continue, I have to ask you, if you're watching this video, to please like and subscribe because it will help me a lot to continue producing videos like this for this channel that, as you can see, is very small and doesn't have a ton of views. So at least if you help me there, I can bring you more and more content. So please do it. It's free. And do it now because then you forget, okay? So thank you for that. Okay, having said all that, this is the last part that I am going to be showing. And you may be asking what difference from this to what we have already checked so far because we already checked Horizon Forbidden West and I said it was the last game that I was going to be checking. And yes, that's true, but the difference here is we are going to be watching a video. So I recorded like a 45 lo a second loop of Horizon Forbidden West in each of the different configurations, just to show you some of the things that you can see while playing. And I'm using a 4K monitor and I can tell you, I can see the difference even without having to zoom in, okay? But so what are the biggest difference I have been able to uh, re check? Besides checking the image quality that we have seen, that the LA has some advantages sometimes over even 1440p, but clearly all the advantages over 1080p. So for those people that are wondering, should I play a 1080p DLA or should I move to 1440p? Well, it's not only about image quality. And here we can see that, as you can see in 1080p, Aloy's hair is flickering a lot. And there seems to be a lot of shimmering and other things. While if you see the DLA image, you can see it's very, very stable. And I will say it's even more stable than the 1440p image. And not just that, if we get close to like her bow, you can see on the, you know, the, the edges of the image that from my point of view, the DLA image is a lot more stable. However, it's true that 1440p is producing a lot of details that we cannot see in any of the two. We can clearly see, you know, the, the design of the um, cord, of, uh, of the rope, that is a little bit harder to see here on the 1080p or the LA image. And, but also if we go here where she puts, I don't know how that is called, okay, I'm sorry for that. The quiver, I believe is called where she uh, puts the arrows. You can see that it's shimmering a lot in the 1080p because obviously there is not enough 
uh, pixels to uh, create the image very well when it's moving in this obliquous angle and so on, creating this shimmering effect. While the DLA image is a lot more stable and even more stable from my point of view than the 1440p image. You can see that here, you can see that in all of this area that without DLA is taking more to produce. And um, it, it, it's, it's less, um, it, it's more shimmering, sorry. So, but when we go even to like, you know, very up close details, you can see here like the grass is shimmering a lot in the 1080p image. And you can see some weird effect happening with the uh, shadows, like this weird movement that does not happen on the DLA image. And yes, the 1440p image on the grass is a little bit better. And you can see here on the texture that it's more detailed, but it also has this weird shimmering of the, uh, of the grass itself, but also the shadow as you can see there. And this also happens with a little bit of more distant objects. Like you can see here at 1080p, this whole grass completely shimmering. And here it's absolutely stable. No problem whatsoever, which is not the case on the 1440p image. So as you can see, even this game, which we test, we were looking before, that has very good image quality and is looking quite good at a distance. Even then, there are some advantages that DLA produces over even 1440p, even though 1440p has 1.5 more million, um, 1.5 million more pixels than this image. But that is not all, because we need also to take into consideration another part of the equation, and that is none other than performance. And this is what we get. So as you can see, 1080p image obviously is going to produce like the most pixels. But when we go to DLA, there is not so much of a difference. I think it's a little bit more um, in some areas and uh, some moments. As you can see here, this goes like to 148 and 158. So there is like a 10 FPS difference between the two because obviously DLA is going to lose some performance. But I think for a more stable image, it could be very well worth it in many cases to the point where even 1080p DLA DLA is more performant than 1440p native image as you can see here that we are losing around 20 frames in this case for the 1440p image so the question for many of you is, is it worth it and to play because in my case I'm playing with a 1490 of course 10, 10 FPS is not going to make a big difference 20 FPS is not going to make a big difference in any of these ones here but if you're using like an RTX 2060 or something like that um, probably, you know, the difference is going to be bigger uh, if you try to play a 1440p than if you try to play a 1080p DLA. So that's something to take into consideration that DLA in this case is going to provide you with more performance than going to the next resolution, which is 1440p, which is quite an interesting discovery because I was expecting it to be a bit different and I thought DLA is going to be a lot more heavy than it was. And the reason I didn't know this is because I don't use DLA because uh, I play a 4K and if I put DLA in there, unless it's like an indie game, honestly, my uh, it's going to tank. I already need to play with DLSS, uh, like balance or quality in many games to be able to get to 4K 60 or more. So putting DLA sometimes is not an option for me. But I think for somebody playing at 1080p or 1440p, and if you have the GPU to spare, you know, sometimes it will be probably better to just stay at the lower resolution with DLA because it's going to produce a more cleaner, sta stable image than going to the next resolution that we have in the in the in the bank. So, well, uh, those are my findings, my friends. I hope you like this video. Many of you have asked for it, like many, many, many times. So I hope this, um, you know. Uh, it's what, what you were looking for and if you want something different, let me know in the comments You have been very vocal about it and you're, you're going to keep asking for something else And I will bring it uh, uh, if I find it reasonable to do So thank you very much and as always see you on the next video